Hey folks, Pastor Eric here and welcome to Bible Lessons with Animals. Today's animal we're going to be learning from today is the quail. In the Bible, in the book of Numbers, chapter 11, it retells us a story. And in this story, God has rescued the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt, right? And as he's taking them on a journey through the wilderness to the promised land that God is going to give them in a whole new home, he bakes for them a meal every day, six days a week, except on Sabbath, in which God creates them this wonderful food called manna, which the Bible describes as tasting like a bread that tastes like honey. So it's a little bit like a donut, right? <laughs> so God, every day for all these years, makes for the people of Israel a donuts for breakfast every single day. It's pretty cool, right? But you know what sadly happens? The people of Israel complain. They grumble because they get bored of it. So, ah, they're getting all picky and saying, oh, we don't want to eat manna, God. We want something more special like meat. And things were so much better when we were slaves in Egypt. And they whined and they cried. And then finally God says, you know what, fine. I'll give you some meat. So God sends them a whole big flock of quail, so big it was as far as the eye could see in all directions, and it was two cubits deep. So it's almost as tall as my walking stick here. That's a lot of quail. And so here's all these quail. The people of Israel go out and they start grabbing up all these quail, and they start cooking them up and eating them so fast, just nom, 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 all into their mouths, right? And you know what happens? They eat so fast and so greedily, they get sick. They get sick from eating it, and God curses them, and a lot of these greedy, selfish, complaining people die. So, what do we learn from the quail? The quail teaches us gratitude. We need to be grateful for the things in our lives. Just like the people of Israel should have been thankful for the manna that God gave them, you and I need to be grateful for the good things in our lives. So it's not good to be picky and to complain and whine that you don't get everything maybe that you want. Instead, you should be grateful. Tell your parents, thank you for the food you made me today. Tell God, thank you for the day you've had. Instead of complaining about things not going your way, take time to pray and tell God, thank you. When you look at your home, when you look at the bed you have, instead of complaining that it's not as fancy as someone else's, tell God and your loved ones, thank you for what you have. And what you will find is that if you're grateful and you say thank you, you will be a much happier person and have a much more wonderful life. That's what we learn from the quail. The quail teaches us to be grateful. God bless.